Good Sunday morning. It is 513. We do have an early warning weather alert for snow that's going to come in tonight. We're not expecting a lot, but enough that the roads will get covered and it will be slippery, certainly by Monday morning. So let's start things off by taking a look outside now just to show you uh, like it is at your house everywhere. It's quiet and we'll stay that way today. In fact, it's going to be a beautiful day. Here's our eye cam over Hartford. Still dark, still dark over Waterbury this morning as it is when we take a look from afar in towards the city of Hartford, uh, New Haven too, seeing dry weather. Here's the green. You can see a little bit of a flutter of the, fl of the flag on the green because of the wind, but it isn't too bad. In fact, we have far less wind now than we did yesterday. Got some teens and low 20s out there this morning inland down in New Haven. We've got about 26. You can see in Groton, we've got 25. So a cold morning, but not unreasonably so. And we do expect a partly to mostly sunny sky for most of today with highs 37 to 43. But then those filmy clouds will start to come in late this afternoon as that storm system approaches. And tonight we're expecting snow to develop with low temperatures 20 to 28. The snow is to the west of Chicago still, but it's marching fast. This thing is really cruising like crazy. So it's going to race through the Ohio Valley today, get into Pennsylvania by about dinner time, and then 9 or 10 tonight, we're going to start to see the snow overtaking New England. So here's our future cast tomorrow's weather today, and we'll just show you how all this is going to pan out. Uh, here's about noon today. And we take it about three this afternoon, still partly to mostly sunny skies in the forecast, according to Futurecast. But then those filmy clouds come in and thicken between three and six p.m. And then tonight, eight or nine, we're starting to see the first signs of maybe a few flakes coming from the sky, especially from Route 8 West. And then from nine to midnight and beyond, you can see how the snow then overtakes. And here's the wee hours of the morning. We have steady snow statewide here. Uh, across uh, all of the state. Uh, we might see a little bit of a mix with rain uh, as we look from Bridgeport South, but I think most of the state, if not all of it, is going to see mainly rain with this, save uh, the I-95 corridor. Here's about 6 o'clock in the morning, and we take it to about 9. You can see how the steady snow now is forecast to leave by about 9 in the morning. So this is a quick shot of steady snow. It's not to say we won't have some snow showers lingering uh, as we look towards the noon hour or, or thereafter, and especially across northeastern Connecticut. There may be numerous snow showers during the course of the afternoon um, where uh, just minor additional accumulations would occur. Um, it's this, because the storm system is, is redeveloping off the Massachusetts coastline that that's going to be happening. So we'll be watching that because that might enhance accumulation some, but we still think one to four inches is probably a good bet here for the state statewide. It's just a good way of describing it. I'd say the lesser amounts might be along the shoreline if we see that switch over to rain. And then there might be a pocket of slightly higher totals across northeastern Connecticut if we see that coastal redevelopment. But that's not the only storm. Then we've got Wednesday into Thursday. So we'll start it off at Wednesday morning. The next one, though, does start as snow like this one will. But the next one is going to see a switch over to the icy mix and then to plain rain. So you can see as we get into Wednesday night and Thursday morning how we see that switch over and it's probably going to end as plain rain during the course of Thursday. So that one is not really going to probably produce much in the way of accumulations. Just to give you an idea, here's what the GFS is saying in terms of accumulations for the, that midweek storm. And you can see here's what the European is saying. Uh, both of those models are really uh, putting out not very much in terms of wintry accumulation at all. Um, so the bigger storm, the one that promises more accumulation anyway, is the one that happens tonight and tomorrow, where we think one to four inches of snow is certainly possible. And that's why there's an early warning weather alert really starting uh, tonight and going into tomorrow morning. That's when I think Connecticut sees the steadiest of snow. After that, Wednesday is a nice break from it all with a temperature of about 36. We'll see partly sunny skies, but then the clouds come in on Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. Snow changes to sleet, freezing rain, and then plain rain as we look towards the morning on Thursday. I think the, the precipitation ends mid-morning on Thursday. And then after that, looks like the rest of the weekend into next weekend. It's looking pretty good with temperatures running in the 30s, uh, both Thursday and Friday, and then up to 48 degrees as we look towards next Saturday, at least inland. And there are the shoreline temperatures for you as well. So we do have some snow on the way. We'll have more on this coming up in the next few minutes.